Hello, my name's Mr Holbrook and I'm the Head of Modern Languages at Watford Grammar School for Girls. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to take a GCSE in a modern foreign language. On this slide I put a few important facts about learning a modern foreign language and why it's so important for students at school. Although we tend to have the impression that everybody in the world speaks English, that really isn't the case. At Watford Grammar School for Girls, you must choose either a modern language that you studied so far in Key Stage 3, so French, German or Spanish, or Latin. If you study two modern languages, you may do either, or both of them, and indeed we've arranged the curriculum so that by the end of Year 9, students are at a similar level in both their first and second languages. Every year we have a number of dual linguists who achieve very highly at GCSE. So what does the GCSE course look like? Well, the course is designed to build upon the uh, topics and subjects that students have covered in their languages lessons in Year 7, 8 and 9. It's based particularly on the topics of lifestyle, leisure, home, environment, work and education, travel and social issues. We develop the four, skill area, uh, the four key skill areas of listening, speaking, reading and writing. And students may sit the exam in uh, one of two tiers, either foundation or higher. But this isn't decided uh, until year 11 and we do it in conjunction with the students themselves. The exams are all final examinations which are taken at the end of the year two course, so in year 11. There's an oral examination which takes place with the class teacher, a listening paper, a reading paper and a writing paper as well. As I mentioned previously, we have a number of students who uh, choose to take more than one language um, each year. And because they cover similar topic areas in all three languages at different times during the course, there's no confusion um, that crops up and students are able to make very good progress if they take two languages. They learn similar skills uh, to improve their language learning techniques, develop communication skills in both languages, and there's a similar approach to the final examination preparation as well. Looking past GCSE, we have a number of students who carry on to do A-levels uh, each year, so students can continue their foreign language studies past GCSE. Language skills are seen as very important by employers, and students can, bine, uh, can combine most university courses with a language, so for example they could take engineering with French. There's many opportunities to study and work abroad uh, when students are at university and work. So for the next slides, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the individual requirements of the exam. First of all, the speaking exam. Now, 25% of the entire GCSE qualification in modern foreign languages is the speaking exam. As I mentioned before, students do this with their class teacher. And it's made up of several components. The first is a photo card discussion. The second is a role play. And the final one is a conversation based on the topics that we've covered as part of the course. The exam will take between 8 and 12 minutes. The information on this slide covers two separate exams, the reading exam and the listening exam. Both of these skills comprise 25% of the qualification. They're both sat in exam conditions at either a higher or foundation level, and as I mentioned before, that's not decided until the final part of Year 11. The reading exam also contains a translation into English task. The final examination paper that I wanted to talk about is the writing exam. Again, this comprises 25% of the qualification. It can be sat at either the higher or foundation level, 
and it also contains a translation into German task. In the final part of this short film, I wanted to talk about what topics the students will study. As you can see in Year 10, students will study the topics of themselves, family, friends, interests and hobbies, technology, they'll talk about their home and local environment, their daily routine, their school and future plans, they'll talk about holidays and transport, accommodation and activities that they might do on a holiday. And moving into year 11, you can see that students continue with the topics of travel, the place where you live and the advantages and disadvantages of that place, work and work experience, careers and future plans, higher education, and things like social issues, the environment being one of those. I'd like to thank you for listening to this um, short film this evening. And if you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me in school and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.